Well, the holidays are fast approaching, and we asked two of our favorite moms, Mom Truths, Kat and Nat, how they're going to handle this time of the year with the pandemic in full swing and with seven kids between them. Take a look. So the holidays are coming up, and somehow we're supposed to make this time extra special for the kids. COVID was supposed to be like a few weeks, we thought. Nine months later, we're still trying to figure out how to make up for all the kids have lost. Family time usually happens around the holidays, but you know what? <laughs> Family time has expired. A special thing might be, let's spend the holidays in our very own bedrooms all by ourselves. Like what, they can't knock on the door? They can't come see us? They can't do anything about us? No. And they get to oh. be in their own space. Oh, it's yeah. like your individual. Everyone gets a little thing in their own room and they get to spend all day in there if they want. For the first time in almost a year, you get to be alone. Yeah, we'll do a scavenger hunt into their rooms and then they'll stay in their rooms. So they'll be all in their rooms. The scavenger hunt ends at, in their bedroom. Yeah, in their bedroom. And there's nothing else. Yeah. There's all your gifts, all the things you need to do are in, in your, your bedroom. bedroom. You know what I mean? Happy holidays. Go and be alone. Joining me now are Kat and Nat, stars of the hugely popular YouTube series Mom Truths, as well as a New York Times bestselling book with the same name. Hey, ladies, welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> So listen, you guys have seven kids. I mean, where do you find the energy to give them, you know, a fun holiday, but one that they can remember and do it all in a positive way? <laughs> I don't know. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And then wine, wine, wine. Like somehow it's just <laughs> yeah. a way that moms are able to just do it for their kids to show up yeah. and just be excited about nothing. Uh, little, I, little things like the ice cream night. Oh, so yeah. I have, it's so like, it's not cream. expensive, but we have one night where they can eat as much ice cream as they want. Listen, they've really cut back their portions. We started with giant salad bowls of ice cream and now <laughs> like, can I just have a cone? And I'm like, no problem. So just finding like little things for them to look forward to. I think that we don't have to be grandiose all yes. the time. We are yes. not the Pinterest mom. No, we're like not. movie night is so exciting. Here's some chips. Let's watch an old movie together. Yeah. Old. New. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think people overthink that how it has to be really big for kids to enjoy it or have a good time. And it's not. It's just like they want to do something. They're cool with it. They're a lot cooler than we are with it. Uh, yes. And talking of us, we've been talking about kids, but us, and you talk about marriages, they've been taking a real hit during the pandemic. Give me two tips uh, for couples and how they can survive their spouses during the holiday season. My tip is just take your space. Every time he's, like, he's always getting so close to me and he's like, I'm like, dude, it's been nine months. Space. <laughs> I think also let, let, like, don't do anything. Like just put everything on hold until after the actual holidays end. Mm -hmm. And then when you have that like middle ground in between before things like that's the time that you can like, just kind of let go because often right before like a stressful time when everybody's tired, everyone's like, just like crazy. It's like this. And then you're like, so oh, you yes. don't even know about the kids. <laughs> like, you know, it goes crazy. So sometimes it is literally watching a show together that you might like to, that we're, we're basic right now. Like we're like, <laughs> if we watch a show together, we are winning. Like that's how tired we all are as mom. It's like the kids are in bed. I'm out. And he's like, I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm like, we'll watch a show. It'll be great. Like a sports doc, but great. it's like, it also it's makes great. you cry. It'll be great. <laughs> We've been talking a lot about the negatives around this year's holiday season with all that's going on, but you guys have actually found what my grandmother would always say, some silver linings. Let's take a look. This is the positive of the co. This is the first year that you do not have to consider host or visit extended family over the holidays. And this year, you don't have to hang out or invite creepy Uncle Bart over. I mean, there's something about him that everything he says seems to be a little bit naughty. And you're like, dude, we're my children are in oh. You also don't have to cook. You don't have to pretend that the food you bought is something you homemade. Clean up all day to host the next person that you don't really like. You know those people you see only this one time of year that you didn't really want to see, but you have to see. COVID just gave you the excuse you needed. They always empty my wine fridge. That's my wine fridge. Yeah. You don't have to sit down with your kids before anyone comes over and say, listen, kids, keep your mouth shut because we're definitely going to get in trouble for everything we've been doing in our lives. This is the year that you get to actually sit back, not get dressed, drink your champagne from 9 in the morning till 9 at night with no judgment, and order in for the family because this year you don't have to cook a turkey for 20. Make what you want. Did you know the turkey actually gives people gas? It's going to be great COVID holiday.